This is a conspiracy theory of sorts that came to me late at night while stealing with the alcoholic aftermath of a family barbecue. For whatever reason, I felt the best thing to do was stare my flaming eyes at the bright computer screen and jot down whatever thoughts swam to the surface of the sea of Malibu that was my mind at the time. The subject is far past the point of topical, and is especially redundant now that Tati has posted her video, Why I Did It, which I will be reflecting on soon. But until then, accou to your tinfoil hats and enjoy the nonsense that is to follow. Although in reality, the motives of Bi Sister are quite clear, i.e. calling someone out for their bullshit after being unable to reach them any other way, there has been much speculation on any underlying motives for Tati releasing that video. Shortly before Tati released Bi Sister on May 10th, on May 4th, Christine and Ben of Simply Neological posted a collaboration with Tati in which she instructed Ben as he did Christine's makeup. Christine and Ben are, to me, some of the most rational, grounded creators on the platform. Simply Neological is, quite uniquely, a mainstream YouTube channel. Mainstream in the sense that they're a household name which doesn't fall entirely inside a single genre, but overlaps many communities, that interacts with the mainstream YouTube culture. Yet, in a way, is a sort of satirical parody of that culture, completely immune to the shallow, backstabbing pettiness that the beauty community in particular can often incubate. So is it possible that Christine and Ben's attitude and energy wafted enough fresh air towards Tati to help her move forward with the decision to make and release by sister? Looking at it a different way, did Christine and Ben know about or even see by sister before it was released. Ben's character on the channel has grown to be that of a shady smartass who makes references to current beauty drama as well as other YouTube drama, and has made mentions of drama channels before, including Tea Spill. In the collab, he makes a joke to Tati that he, in fact, is Tea Spill, which Tati, of course, reacts to with wide, surprised eyes. T-Spill has made references to Ben in their videos as well. Ben and T-Spill definitely have mutual awareness of each other, but does the interaction go deeper? What I also find interesting is that, in a live stream done by Petty Page just last night, she mentions that it was rumored, allegedly, that T-Spill and Here for the Tea were privy to Tati's video before she released it, which would explain how Here for the Tea was able to release her 35-minute, very detailed video just hours after Tati uploaded hers. But what about Tea Spill? If Ben were in contact with Tea Spill, could he have known that Tati had something to the effect of by sister in the works, causing him to throw the, even for him, very large amount of shade towards YouTubers that fit James's description. Or, if he didn't know about it, could Ben's joke about being tea spill have caused Tati to react in the way she did because she in fact already did have contact with tea spill at the time of them filming the collab? Tinfoil hats off, when I initially saw the Tati Simply collaboration, I had a feeling something was coming. I just assumed it was her aligning herself with more positive, vastly more mature people as she implemented changes in her life, but I certainly wasn't expecting what actually ended up happening. Did anyone else notice this connection? Although I haven't rewatched the collab since the release of By Sister, while collecting screenshots of the videos in question, I was browsing through the comments and noticed many other people pointing out retrospective foreshadowing, so I'm definitely not the only one. If you like this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up, and if you would like to hear more of what I have to say, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.